Wow. You know, so uh, we're, we're here in the fourth quarter of 2024. Um, any any end of the year tips for small business owners to take advantage of any policies or laws that might be expiring soon or changing and anything they should be doing to button up in anticipation of a possible change in administration or anything like that? Well, of course. I mean, uh, but here, here's what I would say is more important for small businesses, all things being equal. Okay, the administration matters. Don't get me wrong. But what are the things that matters for small businesses? Their financing costs. And we still live in a country in which interest rates are quite high yeah. by near-term historic standards. Uh, and the economy has been quite strong despite that. My feeling is that these higher interest rates we've been living with are starting to press down, starting to suppress the pace of economic growth. This economy will slow at some point in 2025. And it should be noted that often we suffer economic weakness early during presidential administrations. Think uh, 1981, think uh, 1991, think 2001, so on and so forth. And so um, if you're a small business owner, your costs have gone up massively, of course. And now if the economy weakens, you lose some of that pricing power that's offset some of those cost increases. All things equal, that squeezes margins. If you're facing uh, margins that are thinner, you want to talk to your banker, right? You want to make sure your line of credit is uh, as large as it possibly can be so that if you need some financial flexibility at some point in 2025, it's there for you.